Take a look at that. You're probably thinking, oh, he dropped his bike in the garage. Well, actually I didn't. You see this amount of lean that this bike has and I have it propped up right there, all right? Now, I want you to see something here. This amount of lean is still not enough to do one thing. It's still not enough to scrape the kickstand. Let's talk about it. So you're probably saying to yourself, Rimbo, what the hell are you talking about? Why? What's so important about this? You see that amount of lean angle? That is a lot of risk. And I'll tell you what I did. Something that I actually did do, I actually scraped this kickstand. And you're thinking, wow, you really went down, you know, you must be good. Oh, contraire. You see, right here, I put new rear sets on before I went back to the track so I would gain more clearance because the problem I was having was that the stock ones were constantly scraping on the left and the right. But they didn't have to. I didn't need that amount of lean. I mean, just look at the reduction right here of contact patch on the rear tire. And let's not even talk about the front. The front is smaller, so it's going to be even worse. So what you see behind me right here, that's a lot of risk. It's a lot of unnecessary risk that I took for one reason and one reason only. Could you guess? Hmm? I'll tell you what it is. Bad body position. Yep, bad body position. And in the case of the left-hand side, which is where the kickstand is, it was really laziness because I was getting tired, I was getting later in the day, and I was getting too lazy for good body position to compensate for the speed I was coming into the corner for. So that's why. Bad body position because I was lazy and you cannot be lazy at all on track days. I actually have pretty darn good body position on my left hander. So this was all about being lazy. I know for a fact I don't have as good as, and as a matter of fact, not so great body position on my right handers. So initially, before I changed these rear sets, I was scraping on the right hand side more than I was the left. I was scraping on the left because I was lazy. I was scraping on the right because of bad body position. Oh, and do me a favor real quick before we continue. Please hit the like button, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. We've talked about this before. Just please, I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and watch some more videos. So there it is. What looks cool really isn't. We've all heard this over and over and over again, that lean angle equals risk. The more lean angle, the more risk. And I am very fortunate that when I started scraping that kickstand there, I didn't take a fall because it would have been real easy to lose the rear end on that bike and say goodbye and low side. So this reminds me of people saying, oh, you have chicken strips. And I've brought that up before too. You know why I have chicken strips on some of my bikes? Because I have better body position and I'm watching what I'm doing and I'm being more careful and I'm counterbalancing the bike with the way I lean. And I'm doing the right thing in order to reduce the lean angle. On this bike, because of bad body position and being a little aggressive, I have zero chicken strips on the rear. I still have some chicken strips on the front and to be quite honest with you, I always want to have chicken strips on the front tire, 100%. So let's not be lazy, watch your body position, decrease your lean angle by increasing your body position. This way you have just enough counterbalancing and good enough body position that you're doing one thing, you're reducing your risk because you don't have to lean the bike as far. I'm lucky, very lucky that I didn't lose it with this one, especially hitting the kickstand, okay? This is Rainbow. please like, please subscribe again. Thank you very much and have a good day, bye-bye.